Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM Multi-Domain Edition Migration from 9-point version to 10 version. So uh, we will cover this in three parts uh, because it has uh, several uh, different sections and we need to consider all of these sections. So in the first section, we uh, in the first part, we will see what uh, what are the basic requirement and what changes we are going to make in the migration. So this this uh, this tutorial is kind of only presentation because showing on the actual practical examples is not feasible for now. So we will cover how it is implemented or what things need to be considered before migration from 9.1 version to 10 version. So what are the phases of the migration? So below are the phases uh, which need to be considered or which needs to be taken into account during the migration. The first phase is perform the pre-update tasks. So there are some several pre-update tasks that need to be performed before going for the migration. Second phase is upgrade the hub store. Third phase is update the upgrade the hub server. The next is process upgrade the process server. And finally perform the post upgrade task. So let's start with the pre-update pre-upgrade task. So before going to see what are the pre-upgrade tasks, we should know detail or at least some overview about the MDM 9.1 and the MDM 10 version. So let's first go and see the what are the differences between these two versions. The first major difference is the consolidation logic from the database tier is moved to the application server tier. So this is this change is made to in order to achieve the performance of the MDM. So this is the major change. Then the next change is the uh, supportability of new database that is SQL Server. So in, in the higher version compared to 9.1, now we can support the SQL Server as well. There is one more addition that is timeline uh, in, the t in the higher version like 9.5, 9.7 and the 10 as well compared to 9.1. Along with that, we have the database agnostic release. There, are uh, there is change in tokenization logic. So it is internal implementation, but we don't have to bother. But these are the things which are get changed over the period of time. Then, the, of course, the Jasper report supporting the IDD. So we can show the Jasper report in the IDD application that is Informatica Data Director application. So that was not present in the earlier version. The next change is uh, capability to have the multiple MDM hub master database. So this change is only available in the 10 version. So earlier version, we have only one master database, but now, but um, after 10 version, we can have the multiple master database. That is cool feature, yeah. The next, we have the Informatica platform strategy. Again, this is the Informatica 10 version feature where we are Eliminating the landing table concept or loading the data from the power center to the landing is removed if you include or if you configure this Informatica platform st staging. What this it does, it actually um, have the integrate integration with the Informatica uh, power center. So the data is directly pushed to the staging table instead of pushing into the landing table. So uh, definitely that has the uh, improvement uh, that has a, a a big advantage of saving the time of the loading the data the next concept is composite object and composite services this is a new feature in the 10 version which give you the more uh, robust kind of application of uh, with respect to idd so we can configure it in the database and we have to configure it in the properties file and also in the hub side as well Smart search and entity 360 degree view. These are the cool feature of the MDM Informatica 10 version, which give you a, uh, a better user experience for the business business users. What are the behavioral changes between the 9.1 and the 10? The first behavioral change is the foreign key merge lineage is 
now maintained in the cross reference table merged lineage is maintained uh, in the xref means foreign key as well as the merged lineage is maintained in the xref tables xref means cross reference tables the hierarchy manager relationship uh, effective dates are replaced by the period start date and period end date uh, we uh, those who are work on the 9.5 and 9.7 those are pretty much aware of this concept the hard delay detection is now enabled to the java user exits so the java user exits are introduced in the 9.7 now it is also available in the 10 and the new feature that is hard de delay detection is enabled for those user exits Changes in the post-merge, pre-merge, and the post-unmerge user exists. So those are new changes in uh, for the enhancement purpose. They are introduced in the Informatica 10 version. User exits framework. Of course, we know that that comes with the uh, 9.7 onwards, and it is available in the 10, which is not present in the 9.1. Earlier we had the database user exit, but those are now deprecated. IBM DB2 setup of uh, disable the oracle compatibly more so this feature is introduced also batch and merge moved to java uh, moved to java so now we can do the batch and merge using java deprecated features the link style base object so we know the merge style and the link style the link style is now deprecated in the 9.1 database user is also deprecated from the 9.1 uh, sorry, uh, link style and the database user exists are deprecated in the 10 version. So no, even it is available in the 9.1, which is which will not be available in the 10. So if you are using your database uh, user exit, you need to uh, during migration you need to consider that thing. So that's why we are uh, looking into these features because while migration you have to t take each and every step with respect to this consideration. If you have already used the EJBT protocol, uh, because EJBT protocol is the same SIP framework, I think this is not used in the 9.1, but if you use some in other version, this the EJB2 protocol is deprecated now, EJB3 is introduced. IDD native workflow, if you are using the IDD application in the 9.1 version, you have to make a little couple of changes because the IDD native workflow is replaced with the active AOS, which is uh, this will definitely give you a better performance, better user inter uh, user experience. So, if you have added application which is in place, you have to take this consideration. Let's go with this prerequisite. So, this is the phase one where we'll see what are the prerequisite for the MDM hub migration from the 9.1 to the 9 uh, to the 10 10.0 version first get the mdm license for the mdm 10 get the installers and the next step is upgrade the operating system application server database version server as per the 10.0 pam yeah we know that FAM is available at the Informatica website. You can go there and you can check the FAM for Informatica version 10. So these are the preliminary requisites. You have to upgrade your operating system. What are the mentioned in the FAM? Application server, if you're using WebLogic, JBoss, or any other application server like WebSphere, you have to upgrade as per the FAM. Of course, the final and the important is database versions like there are some comp compatibility issues so you have to use the exact version which are mentioned in the 10.0 version for the database so these are the important things you have to do before going for the actual upgrade there are some several best practices so these are the best practices first take the backup backup of the schema of the database uh, so you have to take the database backup schema backup the IDD application of course you know that it is a jar file you can take the backup of that backup of the customization such as user exit code if you have any change if you make any user exit change you take that backup backup of the external change engines like if you have implemented any the, any custom code which is acting as your uh, interface between the external application and the MDM so it's, you have to take the backup of that external 
uh, functions also even the cleans engines like the um, if you use the artist doctor or trillium you have to take backup of that validate this metadata this is general step once you take the backup take uh, to the validation of the metadata resolve the data issue if you have come across any data issues just uh, uh, resolve those for resolving your you can follow these steps like generate the readiness report fix the data issue by the running scripts resolve the manual mandatory data issues so you can manually do also the next step is prepare to upgrade to the aos so this is optional step um, if you are using added application then you need to do that it is better to do because if you if you use existing engine then it will be uh, create some issues so far i noticed in the 10 version some issues in the ID application if you don't migrate to the aos so i would recommend uh, use the aos for the ID application resolve or close all the open uh, tasks managed by the cyberin pmp engine if you are planning to upgrade to aos and the create aos schema so this is very very important you have to create aos schema before migration to the aos so one of the preliminary steps so take the backup validate the meta scheme uh, metadata resolve the data issue and plan for the aos upgrade so these are the uh, best practices mm. then what are the upgrade tribes there are two types of upgrade we can do um, the first is on-premise upgrade and the second is remote upgrade what is on-premise upgrade so if you are doing the um, upgrade on the same machine or the same box by upgrade upgrading operating system application server and the database version and means as, as per the PAM 10.0 version then it is called as a on-premise means you are doing on the same system or the same machine or the same box remote means if the new machine or the new box with all PAM compliant operating system application server and the database server then it's called a remote so if you are using existing system it's called on-premise if you are using completely new systems it is called as a remote upgrade so these steps of upgrade uh, we will discuss and uh, uh, we will see what are the pre uh, requirements and how to do the actual upgrade. I hope these uh, these preliminary features and the best pre uh, best practices are helpful for you. If you like this uh, video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you for the watching.